My tea? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you said what? Oh, thank you. I don't, I don't. <laughs> Good morning, YouTube. We are back with another vlog, and I am headed to a smaller city. Your boy Floyd, like I told y'all last night, he recommended we go to a smaller city. So I'm gonna take him up on it. If I don't like it, I'm out of there. You know me too about that, right? I'm about to pack my stuff up, head to the airport, get something to eat at the airport. We're gonna fly over there. It's about a two hour flight, and we're gonna see truly, truly, truly what it's like to live in a local experience. I know yesterday I walked through the little neighborhood, and you got to see basically where there was no regular cars, it was all those like little tuk tuk bus looking thing but we're gonna go to a province where it's pretty much gonna be no tourists at all all right you guys so again this is another H&M outfit I got these jeans from H&M the other day this shirt but not the shoes and the hat this the shoes are the fake Yeezys from Tyler y'all know how I get down no real shit around here looking ass I got the hat and that brown y'all gotta admit that brown when you got this skin tone this color brown is like this is gonna get you some phone numbers this color brown right here let me just say that I'm giving away y'all too I'm giving away too many secrets for y'all right now though so we're gonna go we just gonna go to the airport yeah. Floyd now on the way to the next city they said Floyd's been getting death threats and I'm gonna let you know Floyd doesn't go nowhere near as hard as I do y'all ought to be ashamed of yourself somebody said that they was gonna stab Floyd when they <laughs> They said they was gonna come to Thailand and stab Floyd whenever they see him, so. Floyd, you gonna have to get you some uh, a juggernaut suit. Hey, let me, let me tell him something. You gotta get a life. If you, if you say things to me that makes me feel uncomfortable and a sense of fear, um, you need to get a life. Because my, what I do in my life does has no bearing on you, bro. Okay, I'm living my life. Live your life and enjoy. All right, enjoy your life. So if you guys are following the Passport Bro movement heavy, I'm gonna let y'all know right now, a lot of these new creators, Passport Bros, and the female supporters, not all of them, but a lot of female supporters are frauds. If they're not collaborating with any Passport Bros, not responding to requests, they're a fraud. They don't care about this stuff. And y'all know I'm not talking about all the females because I've had some I collaborated with. There's some that I guess do genuinely care. There's a lot of them that's just frauds. They're frauds and they're just cloud chasing. Now, for the, there's some men, there's some passport bros that aren't really passport bros, they're just riding the bandwagon right now. We're gonna, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start quizzing these guys and these girls. We wanna see where y'all really live in. Y'all not even outside the country. If you are, you're not really down for this. You just want a YouTube channel, because it's that bad. So it was brought to my attention that in my last vlog, this hat, I was wearing an outfit. I said, you know what? No, the only person that's gonna answer the phone is my mom right now, so. I'm gonna call my mom and see if she thinks that this hat goes good with this outfit or not. And it was brought to my attention that, oh, that, that's gonna drive whatever women are watching this video up because they you're, you don't know how to dress yourself or you're unsure about yourself. Let me tell you something. I got dressed all the way to everything except the hat. I'm just, what's wrong with asking a third party, hey, do you think this hat looks good with this or not? But I was like, you know what? The person that came from, and I, he's watching, I know. He's living in the United States. And sadly, women are that critical in the States to the point where if you ask, hey, does this hat look this good with this outfit? They assume that you're an unsure man and you're less masculine because you're, you're not absolutely certain about everything. But then if you're absolutely certain about everything, you're toxic masculinity. Get your fing nah, passport. There will be more success in a, in a smaller city because, you know, there's more to explore, the culture. You get a world sense of the Philippines. This is why it's always important that you get your passports and explore other countries and stop living in my country called the United States because there's more to do in more countries. There's so much more to do. Don't be so worried about traveling. Nothing's going to happen to you. It's okay. Come out here and enjoy yourself. There's friendly people everywhere in the world. Hey you guys, we just got off the plane. And I'll tell you, what I was thinking when we was getting off, when we were landing, all you could see was green. There was no street. I'm, I'm wondering, is this, did this place actually have an airport? Because there was so much green. It looked like we were, you ever seen a Vietnamese movie, a Vietnam War movie? 
you never seen a Vietnam War, if you've seen a Vietnam War movie, it's all green. They got the napalm fire and all that. That's what it looked like when we were landing, as you saw already. But I'm confident about this. I think we're going to give it a good shot. It's going to be definitely a more local experience. We're definitely going to stick out a lot. Everybody's looking at us like we went to the wrong place, so I know it's going to be different. We're the only two black guys for sure over here. But I will tell you that my sinus pressure was so bad, when I tried to swallow while I was on the plane, it literally felt like my eardrum bust, both of them, because I, uh, I'm on my antibiotics, I ran out of uh, decongestant medicine, so it's a lot of pressure in my head, plus the altitude that we were at caused that same feeling, so that wasn't fun, so I'm gonna get some allergy medicine ASAP. Okay, so, so far Floyd was right. We're still over here in the holding area of the airport. There was a group of people, two pretty girls, two sitting on the little bed. And they were like looking at us like, oh my God, look at him. Hey, how you doing? Like, you know, we're the only black people. I can guarantee you we'll be the only black people here the whole time. Floyd brought us to the city. They don't have taxis. This is the only taxi they have is a tricycle. So we got all my luggage on top, his luggage on the back, my luggage on the back. Uh, I got my laptop here just in case if the luggage falls off at the end of the day I need my laptop otherwise if I lose this laptop and there ain't nowhere to buy another one in this city It's a wrap. So yeah, we about to get on a, a tricycle. So I gotta sit right here So everybody's waving at us because we're black Another thing that I noticed, uh, when we got out here, there was a father and he pointed at his daughter and was like, call my daughter, call my daughter, call my daughter. That, that's the vibe out here. It's like, that's like a real old school thing. You know, I never had that happen in the States. I had a mother say, here, you need to meet my daughter, but very rarely would you, you have a father say, you know, I want you to meet my daughter, but not the way he did it was like, like just very like, no, call my daughter. That's not, that doesn't happen back home. So. We're gonna see what this experience here is like. We're gonna do some walking around, see how long people uh, look at us, because I'm guaranteed we're the only black people here. I guarantee you that. But one thing I do notice too is that there's armed security here as well. So for people that think that it's just in the big cities, like there's a shopping mall right here and there's an uh, armed guard outside. And that's the difference. In the States, there's no armed guards everywhere. That's why y'all have mass shooters. I just got to the room. Let you know right now, it smells like water has been sitting in here for a while. She just turned the air on though. Maybe when the air, because I know temperature makes a difference in the smell. But uh, that's the bathroom. Other than that, the bathroom is, you know, decent. Nice bathroom. I'm probably going to give myself a haircut in this light. It's decent enough light for that because I, yeah. It's a decent hotel room. They only had twin rooms left, but, uh, you know, you know how I go out here, man. Nice little. Decent little TV. It, it's not about it's not about the area sometimes. It's about the right one. See, when we was in Manila, we didn't get the reaction that we got here. There were literally this dude told his daughter to get for Austin to get his number. I can't believe that. I'm a little nervous talking right now, but it's weird because they they I, it's like a good energy here. I feel good here. Like, Women here respect us more. Smaller city vibes. Smaller city vibes. Salvador, right. Salvador Bahia was smaller than Rio. Rio is a great place, mm -hmm. but Salvador had a, it was smaller. Mm -hmm. It had a, it had about half the amount of people as Rio, so it had a better vibe to it, more local vibe, and you get to really see how the locals live. So we about to we about to walk around. I need to go to the pharmacy and get my medicine real quick so I can get from underwater. I'm underwater right now. Oh, sinus congestion. You know. Like it's no sinus congestion, like um, sun protection. Sinus congestion, like this. Hey. You have like a pill. Austin. Austin. <laughs> I try to tell them the smaller cities is where it's at, man. You gotta take the risk to go to a rural area. Y'all wanna go to these big tourist cities and then y'all wonder why nothing happens. You gotta be willing to do that. We're here in a small town. Are we nervous? I'm nervous. But you know what? 
we're getting a better result here. I'm flattered. Uh, me too, I'm flattered. They're staring I'm, at I've us. Been, I've been blushing the whole time. Girl. Hey. Hi. My tea? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you said what? Oh, thank you. I don't. I don't. <laughs> hey man, I love Philippines. Yeah, yeah, I love. We love, I love this. We love this city. Tell your friend that uh, give me her number. The one that called me handsome. Hi, Instagram. What's up? What's up? Thank you. We're brothers. Yeah, we're brothers. Yeah. Yeah, I need to hear about the answer. Yeah, we're brothers. Right. Okay. <laughs> All right, bye. All right, you guys. So we just got the medicine. I'm at the hotel now to drop it off. But I'm gonna tell you guys something. Literally, this is what people are talking about when they say you go to Asia, and all of the people and the women are just jumping on you. Guys, go into Manila. Go into Cebu. Uh, I haven't been to Angeles City, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in there too. That stuff does not compare. We haven't even been here a full hour yet. Literally every single one of those chicks in the pharmacy was just like infatuated. Like, oh my God, like, you know, I got one number and then two of the other ones are just like staring like crazy. Like, and not just like, oh, it's a black person. Like, oh my God, I like him. Like, it's cause you're so different out here. We're about to get out and I just took my medicine. So hopefully praying to God, I'll be better here in a minute. So actually I had to trim down Floyd's haircut a little bit because he wanted to trim down. So it does look like he actually got a haircut rather than just a shape up now. Uh, but this is what I was talking about when I say I like women that are a little more aggressive or assertive. The way how those chicks in the um, pharmacy, you know, they showed us that they liked us and there was no doubt. I didn't have to chase anybody down the street. You know, they they were given clear choosing signals. Y'all can keep it about, oh, uh, if they, if they, if, if they give you a choosing signal and then, and then run away, you need to put on a pair of roller skates and skate behind them. If she wants me to talk to her, she's not going to make it hard. And this is exactly what we're talking about. So now you guys can see with your own eyes. Don't believe anybody says, oh, you need to chase behind a woman. Women don't make men chase them when they actually like them. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so Floyd and I are looking for an ATM. We met another American guy out here. He said it's only three ATMs in the whole city that work for American cars. We're about to figure out where those are at. All right, so we just went there, got money at the ATM, and there was a group of uh, three girls that was waving at us. And they were like looking all like this and wave. So when we got the money at the ATM, we went back and we spoke to them like, hey, how you doing? My name is Austin, you know, what's your name? And like, they're shy to the point where they're just like looking around like oh god uh, you know they're shy like it's almost like stage fright shy that's the type of shyness they have passport <laughs> bros back home tell it they're all like oh you know th those women are shy and they walk past you and they just ignore you like you don't exist and they call y'all call that shy we call it uninterested they were shy meaning that they showed that they were too afraid to look at you but you could clearly tell it was because they were interested not because they act like you didn't exist. And when we were in Manila, that's what I was getting like, oh, you didn't, like, they just walked right past you like you were just some sort of fly on the wall versus here. So Floyd and I are in the van going to another province to see somebody. Look at my legs. So we just got to the other city, so we go get some of this fruit for a little snack. Pretty much dead over here right now though for nighttime. It's not a big city, so it's not gonna be a lot going on throughout the week at night. Hey man, listen, we're going to start with a small duck. A small duck? I mean, oh yeah, let's say, um, I'm going to explain it to you, oh my gosh. I really want to explain something that is. Okay, the first one. It's a duck egg? Crush it? No. It's a duck egg. Hey, you doing? Yeah. Go. 
What about you? You want to open this one? Oh, it's still alive. No, it's not. Hold on. Hold no, it. Just it. No. Oh, I'm not crying. Let's just, just open the egg and let's try the egg real quick. Oh, it's still a bird in there? Oh my gosh, man! Oh, it tastes like vinegar. Does it taste good? You just eat the whole thing, don't eat the shell. The duck's head. <laughs> Sorry, you, know, you look like uh, Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant. You look like Kobe Bryant. <laughs> <laughs> I remember how it's having a fall. The phone is up to that. Way back and I guess yeah. 2021. <laughs> We're going to say goodbye. Charles. Let's get on the link. Thank you. Thank you for your compliment. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate you. Thank you guys for staying until the end of the video. I really appreciate you guys watching it all the way through. Now, if you have not already, give this video a like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Leave a comment telling me what you want to see next in this city or what you want to see next in this channel in general. And make sure you share this video with somebody that's interested in my journey or just coming to the Philippines in general. And let me say this all together. I have been here a few hours in this city. It's about eight hours now. now I love this city more than Manila on the social aspect, but I like Manila for the environment as far as things to do but as far as socializing and getting to know the locals better i like this city more if you guys really enjoy this content my cash app is dollar sign austin holloman my paypal donation email is austin holloman at gmail i thank god for all the donations that you guys drop i really appreciate it it keeps me going and it means everything i'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video